For today's inspiration, we are going to look at Julie Hamilton's beautiful collages with some painted paper that it's torn and also with some geometric shapes added in with Sharpie. So let's get started. Alright, so an important thing when you're making an abstract collage is working in sets of three. So now I've made three different ways of using um, my Sharpie marker to make really cool black and white marks. Alright, next let's think about tearing our painted paper. The goal here is to contrast these really sharp lines with some torn edges of the painted paper. And now it's just time to figure out how we want to arrange it. Don't be afraid to let your painted paper go off the sides because you can just um, cut that off at the end of your project. Once you figure out your painted paper, you can just kind of like lift up the little sides so that you can glue or tape it down. Personally, I'm using tape today, partially because I ran out of glue stick, and that's okay. Anything that works for you is perfect to adhere your piece to your parts of your artwork to your surface. Now, I'm gonna flip it over to cut out the outside. Now, of course, play around with these, um, but I really like where I settled on um, for these ones. And then I think I want some sort of geometric shapes around like I had over here. So I'm just gonna cut those out. Okay, so if you are using tape and you need to tape down little things, I recommend making a longer tape roll and then cutting off little pieces of tape from there. And there you go, beautiful collages inspired by Julie Hamilton. I hope you enjoyed making these. Have a wonderful day.